Good morning, Disney. We made it, I think. So I don't think you know, you were on baby duty. I sit down, I set up everything. We're about to roll. I fix a spelling mistake on the thumbnail and the computer decides, nah, and restarts. Mm -hmm. So like shut down and that's what we were waiting for, everything to start and the, back up. <laughs> I was just sitting here waiting and waiting for you. So I'm glad you guys stuck around. Looks like there's what, uh, 16, 17, 18 of you still stuck around. So thank you for sticking through our little technical difficulties. If you're new here, this is Good Morning Dizzy. We go Monday through Saturday. Work sometimes gets in the way. Life sometimes so gets in like, the way. But, shut down. And oh, hold on. But generally <laughs> six days. Generally six days a week, we go live talking about the news of Good Morning Disney. Let's talk about it. And I would like to know in chat, how's the audio sound? We had an audio is issue yesterday and I, I have medium confidence on it how it's better. So you let me know in chat if we sound okay. PDF, that's Keith in the house. Blue and Cheese in the house. What's going on? Misty Harris in the house. What's going on? Eileen in the escrit or East in the house. What's going on? Misty says, I really, really feel horrible for Orange County. Personally, in just my opinion, I think it's ridiculous. Disneyland still isn't open. I mean, come on, not Spray Farm is open. We're going to talk about that again. I'm so looking forward to talking about positive things. This wants, I want this to be a positive show, but Governor Newsom's our lead story again today, unfortunately. We we'll talking about that because he said something that we need to talk about. Jan S. Disney 1974 in the house. What's going on? Tina McNeil, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Whoa, everybody look to see if the sun has changed color. I made it on time. Right, Tina? Welcome in. I'm glad you're here. Blue and cheese and hello. Martin Memphis, thanks for being a member. Using those emojis. Dean, turkey legs, thanks for being here. Dean has sent me the last two days two different news items. Don't I like it, Dean. Oh, keep them awesome. coming. I keep them coming. <laughs> Appreciate it. Martin Memphis is in the house. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a member. Hitchhiking Bones, the same to you. My Wife is here telling you guys we have tech issues. Yeah. Misty Harris, anybody I missed? Did I miss anybody in chat? Let me try to jump through. Uh, again, if you're listening to me on another platform, talking to people live, you know what I'm talking about. This is how we start every show. So it's the best experiences to be here live, 9.15 Central Time, 10.15 Eastern Time, six days a week. Um, we sound good. Thank you, Bloom and Cheese. I, um, I made some changes, but I was not confident that I was doing the right thing there. So that sounds good to me. Audio, great, good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It sounded a little tinny to me when I was listening. And mm -hmm. I listened to the show that you guys talked about in another one, and I couldn't figure it out. But I, anyway, great. Glad to hear it. Movie Mania Nick in the house. What's going on? Well, Everly hasn't screeched yet. So and might have been be part, part of it, honestly. It. It might have been part of it. Uh, I like it, but, you know, I love her. So there's that. So we got, we're going to talk about Space 220. We've got some news about them. we got space on or information, unfortunately, about Gavin Newsom. And then you sent me some DVC things that we may or may not share for the DVC show. Let's just get right to it. Okay, this annoys me. Jennifer White in the house. What's going on? Um, Tis the season to keep Annoyed people on unemployment. <laughs> we do an interrupt in my song. Oh, it's our 20th anniversary. You're allowed to. So listen, I'm sorry. I don't like this being the only topic. I can't wait to talk about Funko Pops and you know the rides and I, I fun stuff. But from Deadline, but it's everywhere. California Governor Gavin Newsom says Disneyland and other parks not opening soon as he reveals disagreement with. Disney Chief Bob Iger. There's no way I couldn't talk about this. We've talked about it like three out of the last five days, and it kind of he Governor Newsom came kind of came out and said, "Yeah, <clears throat> me and Mr. Iger didn't agree on that. We're still friends, but we disagree greatly. That's why he quit." Oh, and by the way, screw you, twelve thousand employees or whatever. Okay, um, we don't anticipate in the immediate term any of these larger parks opening until we see more stability in terms of the data. Those are the long-awaited words of California Governor Gavin Newsom on the fate of the state's still closed amusement parks. Hello to Jennifer. Hello, uh, Frozen Mama, 77, 777 Rebecca. Wow, this early good morning. Good morning to you. I'm glad you're here. Jeff, we have to call him Gruesome Newsom. I'm not a fan. I'm not going to lie. Um, we feel there's no hurry to put out guidelines, and we continue to work with industry. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hey, all you people who don't have a job. They're, they're in no hurry. We feel there's no hurry to put out guidelines allowing for, even giving you the chance to do everything they ask. They won't even do that. And we continue to work with the industry. Oh, do you? These were Those words will not land softly on the ears of those who run local theme parks, including Universal Studios, Knott's Berry Farm, and Six Flags Magic Mountain. Collectively and individually, they have called on the governor over the past few weeks to allow them to reopen, saying that their business is more amenable to preventing COVID than many that have been allowed to open in the state, which is empirically obvious. Right. By your eye, you can see that. It's just dumb. 
Disney later issued a statement from Dr. Pamela Heimel, whoever that is, Chief Medical Officer, Disney Parks Experiences and Products. That's a cool job. That read in part, we absolutely reject the suggestion that reopening the Disneyland Resort is in incompatible with health first approach. I'm not going to read you the entire statement. How boring would that be? Josh Tomorrow, the new chairman of the Disney Parks Experience and Products, weeks ago begged California officials to let Disneyland reopen and to treat theme parks the way you treat other sectors. You know, I've got a sister who I love very much. It was our 25th anniversary yesterday. She texted me during the Dodger game because I'm a huge Dodger fan. She lives in San Diego. She roots for both the Dodgers and the Padres, which means she doesn't really care. But I'm a Dodgers <laughs> fan, and I'm watching the Dodgers game, and she says to me, hey, Jeffy. You can't call me that, but my sister can. I'm just kidding. I don't really care. She says, are you watching the game? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else would he And then she says, she says some things, and I tell her I have tickets to the World Series. And she says, because she lives in California, you're allowed to go to the game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we we do that here. I don't know. I don't know what they do there. So the fact, I mean, I have another good friend. My best friend in the world is a Padres fan. We're texting during the game, and he, he, me and him are looking at the world very differently right now because they're under the the blanket that is don't make a left turn, man. Everything could it's oh no, a left turn, look out. I don't understand. So look at it's real, it's it's serious. It's knocking people out. It's, it's taking people's lives. It's a serious thing. But how is it that some sectors can go back just fine and some can't? It's just... It's kind of pick and choose. And we're, and we're trusting Governor Newsom and his people as if they are the experts. It's, it's just unbelievable. Right. And and we I don't know why there's not a love for, a respect for, a caring for the over 10,000 people who don't have a job. Just at Disney. And then you take about Six Flags and Not Spray Farm and this isn't about me going to a park. I've canceled a trip. I, I may cancel another trip. It's no big deal. I don't even care. I mean, I'd like to go. Life is life. But these people have jobs. Right. I still don't understand why that's not um, part of the conversation. It doesn't right. seem to be part of the conversation. It seems to me the governor would want to get his people back to work. Um, I think, that I believe deeply possible. it's because in the election year. But whether I'm right or I'm wrong, it's something that I find disgusting. Like I, Whatever the reason is. If you don't think you can open up safe, but you're going to work, you're probably a piece of garbage because he's at work. All his people are at work. Hey, Chucky Moans, I'm listening on earbuds. Sound is fine. Thank you for saying that. I've been wondering. Okay, that is honestly, I've got a, a, I had a lighter day yesterday that I didn't get stuff done that I wanted to get done. And so we have a busy work day today and I'm not going to be able to look at some stuff. So thank you. I, I, the audio issues. I was worried about. So that really, really makes me happy. Thank you. Um, I'm guessing that's Dawn. Yeah, we're checking votes. Good morning, part of your world adventures. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for me. You're such a, uh, a regular, awesome supporter of the channel, and I appreciate it so much. And thanks for being a member of the channel. Again, if you see everybody in green, those people you see in green that are using those special emojis are members of the channel, and I they bless us. Thank you so much for that. Anyway, uh, the Mickey Bunch is in the house. Hope you guys got to see the show yesterday. I was only going to stay on for 10 or 15 minutes. But the no, format. No, I was yeah. like, wait, I thought he was only. The format wasn't going to allow for that. So I just <laughs> stayed. You know, it was fun. I had a blast. It was so much fun. Um, and so if you don't know what we're talking about, go to the Mickey Butch's channel and check out the replay from yesterday. She goes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, right after our show. When our show ends, it, that one starts. And on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so not today. But we talked about the best movies from John Hughes. And I have some strong opinions. And um, yeah. oh, really? Yeah. I mean, they only on things I care like, about. So surprised. Only on things I care about. <laughs> and things I don't care about, like how to get on a horse. Don't care. Don't know how. Don't I was care. gonna say uh, that would be a funny. Video. How to cook lobster? No opinion. Oh, I don't. Know. Don't care. <laughs> don't know. Big boiling pots. Big, I mean, I saw. Uh, <laughs> was it? Uh, who's the Who's the funny chef that tries to eat the lobster and the is it? Oh, Slow Mermaid. French, yeah. Slow Mermaid, yeah. Uh, anyway, poisson, right. poisson, hee 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 ha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened you know to that a lot. I would marry you 25 years ago in one day. Did you know that it was my anniversary yesterday? Also, it was her anniversary yesterday, 25 years ago and yesterday. It's like somebody walked up to yesterday. your house with one of those big old checks uh -huh. at 25 and years ago and said, Jesse. <laughs> you win a lifetime of what? Mar, I'm surprised that I haven't come up with it sooner. Yes, Don. Lori French and that's good morning to you. It's not bad enough that he's refusing to open up literally until the virus is gone. Again, again, I want to be safe. I don't, don't, you know, wear a mask, cover your mouth, stay home if you're sick, 
Check your temperature if you're if you're sick. Stay home. Take care of people. I'm not some Neanderthal in a cave saying go hide in a cave. I'm not that. I, but this is dumb. This is not following science. Sorry if I could read. I love the people who say let's follow the science, but haven't probably can't spell science one out of five times, right? <laughs> and have clearly not read because I I consume content and you do, and I definitely consume. Try to I attempt to consume. Uh, consume both sides of the political aisle and i don't know for me it doesn't seem hard to figure out which ones are bs and which ones aren't but maybe it is for some people and maybe i'm wrong but i feel like there's people who like staying home and i like staying home on occasion for a little while on occasion but, i mean it's been but at, at some point it, it i'm sorry i know this is a disney show but at some point it's I just want someone to send me money so I can sit on the couch and watch reruns of Oprah or whatever it is that is your jam. That I'm sorry if I'm. Am I the first one to say it? Is I that am I a racist money, for saying it? I, I want to go do. Things. Please do. Feel free to send us. One. But I don't, <laughs> I don't really want to sell it. I can't. Stand I want to provide much. value, wherein people decide to send value in response in return. Send me a check. I mean, yeah, but <laughs> not not. The government, anyway. yeah, yeah, not <laughs> because it's not, it's not free money, no, it costs people, it costs other people a lot of money. And we live, we in our in our career, we run a nonprofit, so we provide. I'm not bragging, I'm just telling the truth. We provide services for people, we help people, mm -hmm. and it, I guess it's easier. I think may, maybe perhaps it's easier for us to see the secondary results of. of decisions and actions on people's lives right if you do x this is going to happen and then there's all these people for 20 years now that don't seem to see what others can see well if you do these behaviors if you do if you take that career path if you say that to your boss yeah. if you if you punch the boss in the face you might get you know all these behaviors that were like oh yeah but somebody will send me a check and i think that's where gavin newsom is it, under the guise of protecting people, he's killing people. And he's too dumb or too political to see that what he calls protection um, right. it, it, it is failure. California will die under its own weight of stupidity, just like other governments of that style. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Davey, Davey, Crocketeer in the house, what's going on? Gavin Newsom, we're in no hurry to open. Exactly, so dumb. Who do you keep? I don't know what that's I mean, I, I am right, Sandy. I'm, I'm not running for office. And I'm not looking for people to say I'm right, and I'm not trying to piss people off. It's a Disney show. But it's time, people. Like, I'm sorry. Can we stop living in fake land? Like, I will. I promise I will stop living in fake land. How about you? All right, so <laughs> Newsom's in no hurry. Uh, what say you, Paula, while I look up the next story? <laughs> I think, like... They just keep going back to the same thing. Look at Florida. Like, we've already opened up there. It's so, fine. Do you know? It's not my favorite thing because of all the masks, but it's open and people are trying to work. So remember that show, the, the three Playboy buddies, Holly Madison and two other ones. I don't know the other one's names. This is a Disney show. Get there. <laughs> Wait with me. Holly Madison is, is pretty popular. She's had some TV shows. She was one of the three bunnies on the Hugh Hefner show. I don't know what I'm talking about. I never even seen the show. She's a pretty blonde. There's a shock, right? Who's big on Twitter. And she's had a bunch of TV shows and whatever, okay? Mm -hmm. She tweeted out yesterday, I don't understand how come all the Disney parks in all of the world are open except for the one in California. The Playboy Bunny. Now, I'm not picking on her. She might be brilliant. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Here's what I know about her. But she's she really pretty. That's everything out. I know about her. So I'm not picking on her. I'm not saying she's dumb. Everything right. I know is her name and she's pretty. That's everything I know. And she was one of the three girlfriends of Hugh Hefner during that show. Whatever. She tweeted out, and it was on, on a news, one of the Disney news things that came to me. She said, how come Disney in California is the only one in all of the earth that's not open? It seems to me to be self-evident. Yeah. You know, there's pictures yesterday, yesterday, in China, in case you didn't know where the Great Wall of China is, it's in China. The Chinese people are on the wall with nowhere, I mean, I don't know, it's not the whole wall, obviously it's thousands of miles, I believe, but the tourist attraction you part, and the, it's full, and that's in, in you know, China, <laughs> where it started. 
we've got we have to figure out so so this the flu season is just getting here 2020 is going to have a flu season maybe a covid season 2021 is going to have a flu and covid season 2022 is going to have a flu and covid season we have to figure out a way to live with this right. or you're making a determination that a left turn is too unsafe and you must only turn right for the rest of your life and i'm not talking politically i'm just talking left turns are harder than right turns we have to figure out a way to move forward with this, not hope it goes away. The argument seems to be 15 days to flatten the curve. Okay, the president says it's just going to go away. That's dumb. We're going to have to wait for it to go away because it's not going to go. What are we doing? Why is it political? You freaking lunatics. Stop making everything political. Some of you may even think I'm being political right now. I swear to you I'm not attempting to be. I'm attempting to be pragmatic. <laughs> That's the right use of the word. I'm attempting to be, let's just figure out this is the way to move forward. There will be risks involved. My daughter's about to get her driver's license. Should I never let her have one? It would be less risky, right? Right. Would she be safer? Yes. I guess. Maybe. What say you in chat? <laughs> Including Jeff, you're a freaking idiot. I don't care. Whatever you want to say. Um, I'm got to be honest. I'm getting sick of this topic, but it's 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 coming up. It's coming up. It keeps coming up. Um, moving on. Let me get caught up in chat and let's change it. True for sure, but they both should be shipped to China then. I don't know who both are, but okay with me. My wife and I saw her at Disneyland on our trip. Holly Madison? <laughs> she knew who I was. I didn't. What? She knew who it was. Oh, Will is saying Dawn knew who Holly Madison was. I would recognize her, but again, I'm not a fan. I don't know. It's just I iconic wouldn't. face. You, would, you don't, you don't, uh, yeah. You're not as in tune with the news and pop culture as I am. <laughs> not at all. You um, and Peyton have it all, so. That's Let's funny. talk about something fun. I'm very, very excited about the Star Wars um, Hotel and the Space 220. So this, this is from WDW News Today, one of the ones that we talk about four or five times a week on the show now. At least every other day, right? They drop some news that I share with you. Photos. Fences down around Space 220 Restaurant at Mission Space in Epcot. A major milestone has been reached outside Space 220 at Epcot. Bless you. <laughs> As fencing is now down around the restaurant. I mean, this is just, it's not exciting photos. It's just we're moving forward, which is nice. That's awesome. Oh, it's Jillian. Hi, Jillian. Or Jillian. Oh, Jillian recognized. Got it. All the Hitchhiking Boats family. <laughs> <laughs> the changes aren't visible from the courtyard of Mission Space, where black curtains continue to hide Space 220's entrance. Again, the photos aren't exciting, but we are moving forward. And when all I'm doing is talking about political stuff, I'm looking for any <laughs> kernel of fun Disney talk for you. While tape has been laid near the curtains, there are very likely to serve. They are very likely to serve the extended queue of Mission Space. Though if the restaurant is finally opening its doors soon, there's a possibility that this could be part of the preparations. I mean, they're not exciting pictures. So you haven't been on Mission Space, true or false? I don't. No, I haven't been. Gonzo, the Adventures of Gonzo. Go ahead and check out his channel. Um, we went out there for the opening of Galaxy's Edge. The day we were at Epcot, he was really excited about this ride. We went on this ride. We went on the, I guess there's two versions. One that's very, I don't know, more realistic. And one's a little more less realistic. I We did the less realistic one. It was pretty fun. I didn't love it. You know, yeah, I've, I've never I, seen it. I will do it if you guys ever want to do it. But if you ask me, is it really, really fun? I, no, I wouldn't. Wouldn't be somewhere I where I use my time again. Do you guys love this ride? I am, however, more excited about the restaurant. Um, I just like space stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Next to the attraction, we can see that the fence is completely gone, leaving us a clear view of the trees and landscaping that surround the building. Again, not the most exciting photos to show you, but I mean, you know, it's not a picture of Gavin Newsom, so I feel like I'm winning. <laughs> Hashtag winning. Charlie Sheen said so. All right, through the shrubs, we can get a small glimpse of the paved pathway nearby with a themed lighting picture. I just like space things. I like space things. And so... You're a little spacey. You're a little spacey. Mm, yeah. Um, so that's it. I'm not going to keep showing you pictures of trees and such. So uh, we'll get caught up in chat. We'll talk to the chat. We'll talk about our anniversary a little bit. We'll talk about the shows. And we'll, we'll let you guys go. By the way, the baby is in her hands. She's sleeping. Really like weird that way. <laughs> Until right at the, the end. Baby is sleeping like a baby. Um, yeah. <laughs> nice and quiet. <laughs> anyway, let me get caught up in chat and then we're and then I will mention what um what an amazing night last night was. 
They say you're safer in an airplane than a car. Yeah, I've been reading that too. You know, I guess those HEPA filters, HEPA, HEPA filters, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, are um, pretty high quality type of stuff. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like I, you know, one out of three, one out of four, one out of five times I go on a plane, I get sick anyway. Yes. So I'm a Even little. when there's not a pandemic. Yeah, I was talking to my buddy Andy about yeah. this, like, because World Series tickets. And so he lives in San Diego. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as much as I'm preaching, I think this is overreaction. I'm less likely to fly. Now, I'm not a big flyer anyway. I've, I've been, I've told you, sometimes my ear hurts. I catch a cold now and then. I don't, I like going places. I don't love the flying process very much. Um, I do. I like going up and I like no, coming you, down. You just like getting there faster. You don't like flying. Yes, I do. Okay. I love the feeling of descent and the turbulence. Yeah. Well, I do if it doesn't it's hurt my ear. Fun. I love that if it doesn't hurt my ear. Yeah, that's the problem. We're so, always like, I've got a physical issue in my ear that I'm, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's, it's still too stressful for me because yeah. freaking when it does hurt, the it hurts. Yeah. So anyway, um, with COVID though, I'm, I am less likely, like you're sitting next to somebody that you don't have control over, you know, that it see it seems fake to me that people are freaking out. Like it, if you're on main street USA and Disney with a mask, mm -hmm. I don't think that's, if you're worried, I don't think you're worried about it. It being a virus, because if you're worried about it, you stay home. If you think the mask is protecting you, you're uninformed, right? Or just advancing that. So you're either confident about what you're doing because you're out and about. If you think the mask gives you, I think that there's a false sense of security that the mask is giving people. And I, and I think if you read a thing, it's not possible. It's to keep your spit in. It, it knocks Not down the TV. velocity. Yeah. It knocks. It, it <laughs> so knocks. I, let's just let's just say what it is. It knocks down the velocity when you talk, when you sing, when you breathe, you expel. When you sneeze, you expel faster. When you cough, you expel faster, and it knocks down the velocity. And the velocity right. it directly correlates, relates, <laughs> um, handles how, how long the particle stays up in the air, and then there's wind and all those things. So let's be real. I mean, it's a little tiny virus that goes through. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry, science stuff. I'm calling the guy Grissom Newsom. Yeah, I'm. Again, I, I try not to talk about politics, and I know I fail. And I'm, I, I'm sure you guys can tell what side of the fence I'm in if you've been to my show more than once or twice when we talk about this stuff. I'm not. I, I, I dislike most politicians on both sides. Um, I'm not trying to hide my disdain. I'm not trying to hide my like for anybody. I just, I don't understand. Why people, I don't blame Gavin Newsom. I don't blame local politicians. As I said before, tigers hunt. Um, I blame the people who vote for someone who tells them what to do all the time. Um, they need more places to eat at Hollywood Studios. They totally do, right? I totally agree. This, however, Space 220 is at Epcot. My husband always, oh, where'd it go? Jump in chat. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. No, that wasn't it either. Way behind. Around the middle of the park, close to the entrance at Adventureland. Hello. Hey, Francisco, what's going on? Oh, the Dodgers won. The Dodgers did win. The Dodgers won in a classic game. If you're a Padre fan, and a lot of my friends are Padres fan, you're having a bad day right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cody freaking Bellinger. I love you, man. Matter of fact, I might do my hair like him. I'm going to need like a, a headband and I have all my... I could probably do it. I need a haircut. Um, Corey Seager and Cody Bellinger have just decided to go all the hair straight up. I'm not putting... I'm not, putting any hair product in there and I'm just going to go wild oh. and I'm, 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 down. I'm down. Holly Hampton in the house. What's going on? I agree with you. We have to move forward. Amen. Great analogy with your daughter getting her driver's license. I would love to put my daughter in saran wrap. I got four daughters. I would like to put them all in saran wrap and hide them in the basement, not hide them in the basement, but keep them in the house and just watch Netflix with them and chill and hang out with my favorite people. And they would live Never with me forever. Cry. Right. Right. <laughs> Peter Pan. Them, right. Throw, give me some Peter Pan dust. And they stay kids and they stay with me for my whole life. I would love that, but that's not real life. They're going to have to get in the car and turn left. Or I can put saran wrap around them. And at some point, they're going to get really sick of watching baseball and Disney Plus with that. And they're going to leave. Two of my daughters have already moved away. So maybe this is a great plan. You know what? Who is it? Holly, you help me out. We're going to, you got saran wrap? Yeah. Bubble wrap. Maybe bubble wrap. Be smart. And we'll just put a, can put a football helmet on them. Yeah. Bubble wrap them. Never let them go. Never <laughs> let them leave. That's the lie. Adventures of David and Aaron. Welcome in. I'm so glad to see your guys' name in the chat. Can I not stay long? Oh, you can't say, oh, hey, have a great day. I appreciate you popping in. Perlini, no, I haven't flown since flown since I was a kid. I love flying. Personally, I love flying. But it's I like the I like planes a lot. So I'm fascinated by the power of it. I love getting a, a, a window seat. I love seeing the view. I'm always sad when we're up there and it's cloudy. 
but yeah. it happens. So I love the process. Um, I don't like the results. Uh, one out of 10 times that my ear really hurts and one out of four or five, I get sick. Um, it's play. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I think it's um, more than one out of 10 times you have that pain. It's like, I don't know. I'm, I'm four not, out of five times. No, <laughs> it's been pretty bad. It's pretty and bad. then it lasts for a long time after. Sometimes a couple times it's gone away in a day or two, but once or twice it's lasted for a couple weeks. It's, yeah. it's no fun. Um, Mark is that issue issue in the fly. Yeah, that stinks. Um, preach says Holly. Ham Holly, I will. I'm sorry. Not really. Hashtag hot. Not sorry. Well, I meant safer as to accidents. Not yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Oh, I was thinking of the place that's not going to open it. Up. Oh, the barbecue place. Yeah. Yeah. There's a barbecue place that well was, I think still is, but I, I think everything, pretty much everything's on hold. Right. But um, a barbecue place right there where the big Woody is, as you walk into Toy Story Land. There's going to be a barbecue joint. As a fan of meats with sweet sauce on them, <laughs> I'm down for that. Um, have to leave. Jan, you have a great day. I almost had a great I have a great night, too. My daughter's getting close to that age, too. Holly, it's rough, right? Two of our, we have four daughters. Two of our, so we were foster parents first. So right. we, we learned early on that you had to let kids go. And, and sometimes you have to let kids go that you're like, oh, man, mm -hmm. you need extra rolls of saran wrap. <laughs> Here's two football helmets. Bunch of helmets. Maybe don't cats lose our number. Too. Yeah. <laughs> don't lose our phone number. <laughs> anyway. So and it and it's hard. You know, you let people go. It's hard, but it's you know, God gives you a kid for a while to help them move forward, not to hold them in I think the saran wrap is pretty funny. <laughs> saran wrap, but what is am I is that right? What yeah. do you use saran wrap for? So like uh seal food or seal things to so. keep it okay yeah to keep it that's, fresh. What that's what i thought that's what i thought uh perlini hey mickey said he's i was really enjoyed regal eagle oh man so regal eagle story <laughs> mickey's are we good on time we're good on time yeah. mickey said he's welcome i'm glad you're here i always enjoy seeing your name in the chat i was there for opening there's day there's a funny picture of him i was there for opening on day on my instagram i'm there at epcot i'm a barbecue nut I had a shirt on and everything i had the sammy eagle shirt from lake point of visitors use dole whip at checkout for 10 percent off and Lake Buena Visitors on Etsy. Go there. Buy. They got a bunch of cool new shirts, yeah. too. That's what I should have bought you for your Anyway, so I will preach here. Here it comes. So I'm there for opening day. In my head, I'm there for opening day. We're there at Epcot for opening day. Now there's lots of food that I can eat at Epcot. And I'm enjoying myself, but I'm going to the barbecue. I'm cruising around, happy, going to have barbecue. Reagan, my daughter's all excited. I'm wearing my shirt. I'm doing the YouTuber thing. I'm getting freaking hungry. And then I can see it. Oh, it's opening day. I get to be there at opening day. What is that wall doing there? <laughs> and so I cruise over. And it, the little sign and look, coming uh, soon was still up. It opened the next day. I'm stupid. I was on vacation. I didn't know what the date was. It, it was opened the day after we were Why did you have to bring it up? I didn't bring it up. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. He was sad. And we haven't been back yet. LSU mom and what's going on to keep it fresh. LOL, not safe. You need bubble wrap to keep it safe. Bubble wrap. So you take a little saran wrap, you put it around your daughter. Then you take some bubble wrap, you put it around your daughter. There you go. Then you take away her cell phone. You throw that in the lake. Then you never let Put her call anyone on. ever. Then you never let her go in the car. Uh-huh. What else? That's really it. I think I've got Not out on a bike either. Lock the doors. Seal them in. Like, like you could, we could put her like a, like Rapunzel. But I don't want to climb the stairs, so I don't want to go up there. <laughs> I want her to hang. I like her. I like them. She can sing and paint. On she can walls. sing and she can paint. Mm -hmm. Actually, she's cut her hair though, so she can't be your problem. Does she, she like won. lizards? Yes, she loves Pascal. Huh. She doesn't have blonde hair though. No. She doesn't look anything like her mom's. No. Saran wrap. Saw the picture, loved it. I felt so bad for you. Yeah, I'm sad. About <laughs> it. Like, am I supposed to know what day it is on my vacation? Swish Willie. And Disney and I was welcome in. Glad you're here. Yeah, we're running out of time. Today went fast. Today went fast. You know what? The baby's been quiet. Hopefully the audio has been good. I have a goal tomorrow. Now it's really not up to me. I guess it kind of is, but I have a goal tomorrow to not mention Gavin freaking Newsom tomorrow on the show. <laughs> we'll see if it happens. Um, but this is why I live in Texas and not California. If you still live in California, what are you stuck? You broken? Do you all four tires? I don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I'm talking to a bunch of my friends right now. But listen. Um, tomorrow night is Friday night. Today is Thursday, right? I'm not yes. off a day? Okay. Yes. Cool. So tomorrow, <laughs> Dizzy Pins Live with me and my friend Kelly from the Mickey Bunch and Taylor from the Mickey Bunch. Hey, oh, beautiful. So Ooh, she got all kinds of slobber. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Need some saran wrap for her hand. Anyway, 
Disney Pins Live tomorrow night. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff to talk about. Frozen Mama 777. No problem. No problem. Um, off topic, but funny. I got a prank call the other day. A couple of kids who said they were Kermit the Frog. Oh, that's fun. I would play along. <laughs> I would totally play along. Hi ho. Anyway, Disney Pins Live is tomorrow night. We are talking about a virtual pin event. It used to be an in person pin event. It's fifty dollars. We talked about it a little bit yesterday. Um, Taylor and I and um, Kelly talked about it a little bit yesterday on the Mickey Bunches show, which you should go check out. It's from yesterday. Um, right about now, twenty four hours ago. <laughs> right. Still in California, and you are not a tree. You can move exactly. Get the heck out of there, people. Anyway, People's Republic. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about a virtual event, which I'm thinking about doing, but it's 50 bucks, but you get two pins. And I don't know. It can get a little expensive. I got to be honest. Hey, beautiful. And then tonight I'll be watching the Dodger game and NFL Watch Party. NFL Watch Party tonight will be on Myers and the Mouse channel. Me, Kelly from Myers and the Mouse, Pete from Pete McDevitt, and some guests always pop in. We watch the football game. It's actually a really good game tonight. It's Tom Brady versus Nick Foles, just like the Super Bowl a couple years ago, but they're in new unis. So that'll be a lot of fun. It's on Kelly's channel, Myers and the Mouse. Then tomorrow, Good Morning Disney, where I'm endeavoring to not speak Gavin Newsom's freaking name, but we'll see what stupid thing happens. Who knows? Hopefully it'll be Disney news and stuff. And then Disney Pins Live, and then we got a show Saturday morning and Sunday, and this beautiful thing wants to say hello before we that. say goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. hello. I don't know why we say hello, but why we say hello. I said, Beatles, hello, hello. You can yeah. hear her if you want. I don't know why you say goodbye. I, I say, say hello. hello. That's pretty good. I don't sing Beatles very often. <laughs> that's an old one. I mean, they're, you know, so mostly that. All right, that's it. You don't have to go, but you can't stay here. By the way, Governor Newsom still getting paid. I bet he is. Can you take the cute thing while I get? So I'm an Italian. I need my hands to talk. Exactly. <laughs> What my buddy Walt said, you know, if you're in power and you still go to work, but you tell people they can't, you're probably a jerk. All right, that's all. You don't have to go, but you can't stay here. Nick Foles is awesome. You know, Swish Willie, you're a fan. I'm a fan. You're also a fan. Maria from Lake Point of Visitors. Go check them out. Use Dole Whip for a uh, discount code. I'm not an affiliate. I don't get a penny for them. I just like them. Um, I should be. They should have an affiliate thing. Yeah. But anyway, that's it. All right. Have fun storming the castle. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Anaheim. All right. She's trying to wake up still. Oh, she's, she's my so favorite. Sleepy. Love you all. See you tomorrow morning and tonight on Myers and the Mouse channel, um, NFL Watch Party. That's it.